Hello, lovely learners. I'm Sandy, excited to share with you a slice of everyday life. Today, we're off to the supermarket, a routine yet important task in family life. As we navigate through the aisles, picking up groceries, we'll learn practical English phrases and words that make these everyday trips smoother. Ready to join me on this family shopping journey? Let's start our day with a trip to the supermarket. Listen and practice. Going to the supermarket. Let's begin our routine with a drive to our local supermarket. As we enter, we grab a shopping cart, ready to fill it with essentials for the family. Our first stop is the produce section, where we select fresh fruits and vegetables. We discuss the importance of a balanced diet as we pick apples, carrots, and leafy greens. Moving on to the bakery, the delightful aroma of bread reminds us of breakfast at home. We choose whole wheat bread and some bagels, considering everyone's preferences. In the dairy aisle, we gather milk, cheese, and yogurt. I explain to the children why calcium is essential, and we check the expiration dates to ensure freshness. Next is the cereal aisle, a favorite for the kids. We compare sugar content and nutritional value, making sure to balance health with taste. The meat section is our next stop. We discuss different cuts of meat and select chicken and fish planning for the week's meals. As we approach the checkout, I encourage the kids to interact with the cashier. They proudly ask, how much is the total, and can we have a paper bag, please? What a productive trip to the supermarket, dear learners. Today's lesson wasn't just about shopping, it was about incorporating English into our daily routines. I hope you found this experience as practical and enjoyable as it was educational. We're looking forward to our next English adventure together. Great work today, and see you soon! Interesting vocabulary and expression. Before beginning our speaking practice, let's recap some special new words you heard today that could unlock richer English conversations. Groceries. Noun. Means items of food sold in a supermarket. Example. We filled our cart with essential groceries. Balanced diet. Noun. Means a diet consisting of a variety of different types of food. Example. We chose fruits and vegetables for a balanced diet. Expiration date. Noun. Means the date after which food should not be eaten. Example. We checked the expiration date on the milk. Nutritional value. Noun. Means the content of essential nutrients in food. Example. We compared the nutritional value of different cereals. Preferences. Noun. Means a greater liking for one alternative over another. Example. We considered everyone's preferences while choosing bread. Checkout. Noun. Means the place in a supermarket where you pay for your items. Example. At the checkout, we interacted with the cashier. Essentials. Noun. Means absolutely necessary items. Example. We picked up all the essentials for the week. Variety. Noun. Means a number of different types of things. Example. We enjoyed the variety in the cereal aisle. Calcium. Noun means a mineral necessary for healthy bones and teeth. 
Example. We chose dairy products rich in calcium. Meal planning. Noun. Means the process of planning meals ahead of time. Example. We discussed meal planning while selecting meats. Practice speaking. Now, let's go through the story again, sentence by sentence. Repeat after me for each sentence twice, to enhance your English skills. Let's begin our routine. Let's begin our routine. With a drive to our local supermarket. With a drive to our local supermarket. As we enter. As we enter. We grab a shopping cart. We grab a shopping cart. Ready to fill it with essentials for the family. Ready to fill it with essentials for the family. Our first stop is the produce section. Our first stop is the produce section. Where we select fresh fruits and vegetables. Where we select fresh fruits and vegetables. We discuss the importance of a balanced diet. We discuss the importance of a balanced diet. As we pick apples. As we pick apples. Carrots and leafy greens. Carrots and leafy greens. Moving on to the bakery. Moving on to the bakery. The delightful aroma of bread. The delightful aroma of bread. Reminds us of breakfast at home. Reminds us of breakfast at home. We choose whole wheat bread and some bagels. We choose whole wheat bread and some bagels. Considering everyone's preferences. Considering everyone's preferences. In the dairy aisle, we gather milk. In the dairy aisle, we gather milk. Cheese and yogurt. Cheese and yogurt. I explain to the children why calcium is essential. I explain to the children why calcium is essential. And we check the expiration dates to ensure freshness. And we check the expiration dates to ensure freshness. Next is the cereal aisle, a favorite for the kids. Next is the cereal aisle, a favorite for the kids. We compare sugar content and nutritional value. We compare sugar content and nutritional value. Making sure to balance health with taste. Making sure to balance health with taste. The meat section is our next stop. The meat section is our next stop. We discuss different cuts of meat. We discuss different cuts of meat. And select chicken and fish. And select chicken and fish. Planning for the week's meals. Planning for the week's meals. As we approach the checkout. As we approach the checkout. I encourage the kids to interact with the cashier. I encourage the kids to interact with the cashier. They proudly ask, how much is the total? They proudly ask, how much is the total? And can we have a paper bag, please? And can we have a paper bag, please? Listen to the story carefully one more time. Let's begin our routine with a drive to our local supermarket. As we enter, we grab a shopping cart, ready to fill it with essentials for the family. Our first stop is the produce section, where we select fresh fruits and vegetables. We discuss the importance of a balanced diet as we pick apples, carrots, 
and leafy greens. Moving on to the bakery, the delightful aroma of bread reminds us of breakfast at home. We choose whole wheat bread and some bagels, considering everyone's preferences. In the dairy aisle, we gather milk, cheese, and yogurt. I explain to the children why calcium is essential, and we check the expiration dates to ensure freshness. Next is the cereal aisle, a favorite for the kids. We compare sugar content and nutritional value, making sure to balance health with taste. The meat section is our next stop. We discuss different cuts of meat and select chicken and fish, planning for the week's meals. As we approach the checkout, I encourage the kids to interact with the cashier. They proudly ask, how much is the total, and can we have a paper bag, please? What a productive trip to the supermarket, dear learners. Today's lesson wasn't just about shopping, it was about incorporating English into our daily routines. I hope you found this experience as practical and enjoyable as it was educational. We're looking forward to our next English adventure together. Great work today, and see you soon!